Hi there guys, welcome to Wayne's Cave and I thought I'd just do a little quick live uh, unboxing. Here we've got a package here and this is uh, my recent addition to my astrophotography setup. Uh, in there we have a little Raspberry Pi computer, um, and I'm I'm not up on technology like I know a lot of you guys are, but um, if you know my astrophotography setup so far, it's it's reasonably portable. Um, I use a freestanding auto guider, which is great for the majority of the time, but there are occasions where I would like a more, uh, let's say, controllable setup there. For example, when in areas of the sky, most guiders can uh, face issues with guiding, it's like when close to uh, Polaris. Um, and also, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at keeping my setup mobile and quite compact as well. So didn't, I've been putting off laptops um, and, and, and too many cables, trying to keep it simple, trying to keep it fun, basically. And uh, I've been enjoying it. Results are good, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with them anyway. Um, I'm, by far an expert but you know there's progress and yeah so this is the next step for me in my setup so I just wanted to show you guys this is the Stella Mate by Icarus Technologies don't know if I pronounced that right uh, I've done quite a bit of research into them and this product and I'm quite excited to well, actually, it was, you know, get uh, get set up with it and, and and sort of start that learning curve. Anyway, let's unbox it. This is exactly how it came to the post today. I, I'm in the UK and I ordered this um, through astroshop.eu. Um, good company got a lot in stock and across the board from scopes and mounts and, and accessories the prices to me seemed yeah pretty reasonable and, and fair and, and and competitive to you know a lot of retail providers here in the UK and, and elsewhere so um, and I did struggle for a little while to try and find suppliers of this product in the UK I only found one and they didn't have any in stock and this from Europe uh, only took I believe it's in my hands uh, four or four, five days yeah about five whole working days which is and the posted was <laughs> not too too much at all you know um it's the same as ordering and in, in within the country of the uk so i was happy anyway without further ado just wanted to share with you exactly what exactly come you know, turns up in the post if you're also interested in going the uh raspberry pi powered route because this way I'm hoping to still keep mobile. Um, I've got an Android phone myself. It, 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 it's, it's not as... The screen is of a reasonable size for a phone, but I know it's not as big as some of the phones like the iPhone you know, Pluses that seem to have quite a considerable screen size, almost like a small tablet. I know some phones are, but uh, mine's the Hawaii... Huawei Mate 20 Pro, or whatever it's called. Um, 
so it is powerful enough and quite, it's, it's a fast phone. I, I'm amazed by that. Uh, and my my mobile phone provider, they they weren't lying to me that everything from that phone that they suggested I use, uh, it's actually, yeah, really pleased with it. So I'm hoping with this Raspberry Pi computer setup, it's just come with plenty of uh, airbag packaging and uh, uh, its own little box there. So uh, mate, thanks mate. Icarus Technologies. Um, so this, with this device, I, I, I was attracted to it because it seemed very, um, what's the word? Oh, what's the word? There was many ways you can approach using this, this uh, Raspberry Pi. You can direct cable into it, say off of your desktop or your laptop, or you could link up to it. I believe you can link devices up to it via Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, direct Wi-Fi to this, or on your home Wi-Fi network. Uh, so it's very diverse, you know, I thought. Um, looked into the software that you run with this. There's a, a Stellamate app. But what I'm looking into at the minute is... Um, once the full rig is set up, from what I understand, the best thing to do is to run like software like Ecos K Stars, which is good for desktop and laptops. Um, there is an app version of that software called K Stars Lite. How how much usability that that app gives me, I'm yet to find out until I literally plug in and try. But that. With that and Stellamate app, you can cover guiding, aligning, even polar align assist with some software. Um, and I did even see with the Stellamate app, you can rig up auto um, an auto meridian flip or un um, what did it say unsupervised meridian flip. So I'm presuming it'll follow your target for your you know, see, uh, capture sequencer. So, so you've got, uh, ask it to take 50 pictures, um, put that in the capture schedule on the software. And at some point your mount, as you know, needs a meridian flip because it gets to a point where it can't look any further. So I sort of us this restart again, look over its right shoulder and then follow it round, keep following it round. Now, when you do that, obviously, when you, you're more or less starting again, so you need to get re lock onto your guide star. Guiding has to get up and running, then the sequencing uh, to carry on. Now, it'll be interesting down the line to see uh, how you know how that works, because that's that's pretty amazing. But anyway. Let's have a little look. It should be, it feels, feels very lightweight, uh, even now in this box. It's all sealed packaged. Smartly bubble wrap, but actually, yeah. like that. Yeah, spot the pattern of tape. So hopefully, if the if if Android devices like my phone can support enough um, software with enough capabilities that I would like to be up and running with in the future when you know, that, uh, you know jumped into that learning curve and, and sussed it all out, um, then that would be great. I mean, I could, I, I only do it at 
astrophotography at home anyway so you know I could just link all this up to my Wi-Fi signal at home and uh, you know just jump on my de desktop and run whatever software I want alongside Stellar Mate um, and in fact you know 90% of the time I probably would do that because it's in a my desktop is in a handy location uh, by the window of which a lot of the, my photography is done at the back uh, so I can keep an eye on the scope and, and as I get to grips with this and, and you know tend both things and chop and change but it would be nice if I could keep it that extra mobile so I can literally take all the kit out without having to haul lots of equipment out in the field if I if I visit dark skies etc um, you know with ease and, and be able to just get up and running with my little touch screen device uh, and still be able to just capture save images you know until I get home to to stack and process but this is all obviously work in progress so I'll just be taking a step at a time to get to grips with exactly what does what software wise and how 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 this hardware works and so here's the stellar mate there look uh, and we have HDMI cable for connecting to a, a, a large screen, say TV. Um, there's a mini um, what's it called? USB to power this. This is a, a three amp, five, five point something volts. Um, with four USB, I think they're all 2.0s um, inputs there, and a, like a, that's a hardwire LAN uh, Ethernet cable if you wanted to go direct to a, a you know your Wi-Fi router or whatever that is. So yeah, looking forward. And that's ever so light. And on the side here, you see there, there's a slot. I believe, yeah, 16 gigabyte micro SD. And then what I shall do. Find a nice little because it's, it's as you see. There's my hand. It's not, uh, it's, you know, fits in your hand. It's very, very light. Double-sided Velcro or, or something as such, and I'll find a nice spot. Uh, I think actually that there's a flat spot on my telescope or or somewhere somewhere near the bit that actually moves. So the majority of the cables go into my camera and were guide guiding stuff and uh that it i'll i'll fix up a loom that's a nice single tight loom for th those two things that are obviously moving um and yeah keep it keep the cables all quite compact that way and one to the mount for the mount control because you can do all your go-to alignments and um centering objects and everything all 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 through the all through the stellamate software that you get with it um it can't the only thing to look out for is if you order this you do want to order alongside the correct usb to mount cable for for the for connecting this to, you know, to your mount, I have a feeling I, I saw some mounts have their own Wi-Fi signal, or, or, or some mounts might not even need cable. Don't quote me on that, but I presumed I needed a, a mount for my Celestron AVX, um, <clears throat> and that was listed alongside this so 
I thought, yep, yeah, don't forget to get the wrong cable or else we'll all be set up without with one cable down and uh, yeah, it, it wouldn't be a very happy day, would it? <laughs> and uh, what comes with it is the power cable for the Stella Mate, which actually is, I've, I've kind of already got planned how I'm going to feed the power anyway, because on my 12 volt DC power packs, one I made, or, or yeah, made, uh, both off of um, 12 volt DC um, socket, the cigarette lighter store, and, and I've got these adapters that take USB and feed USB, the, the lower ampage, lower voltage output from that 12 volt power source. So I can put that USB end in, in that. Um, I'm glad it with me, that would have been handy to show you because they're, they're quite cheap to get out there for a few quid. Cigarette lighter end goes into the power pack and, and on the end you've got three more uh, female cigarette lighter sockets that you can put attached stuff to for 12 watt power and then on the top of them usually two USB port outs for your, your 2.5 amp I think it might be 5 volt output and that that will go in one end and there's a nice on off switch here uh, to power the to start make the voice up, so that will be, I believe, the only one cable coming from the floor, as in physically the floor, the ground, running up. So I shall route that in and fix that up the legs of the tripod in a tidy place, um, somewhere where. The, the, the mount can then then mount head can move freely all around you know, navigating the skies without any hang ups or anything so that's it basically um, I shall give you some more info when I get play a bit with this get my head around it all there are like plug adapters but they're they're America uh, hang on a minute I'm not sure they're American and the two, the European two pin European uh, thing, anyway. So, if you get one of these and you want to plug it into mains or whatever it is, you know, you've got the two pin and you've got another two pin because the two pins are slightly different in Europe. So, you will need either adapter for that two pin or that two pin. So, you can plug it into your UK three pin uh, socket. But yeah, oh, one last thing that it comes with a really swish HDMI cable to just plug if you wanted to into your big screen, your big, you know, TV screen, and if you're controlling your TV screen off, you know, wireless keyboards and all that, carry on and run, you know, with these smart TVs, you can run, run it like a can, you know, run the stalemate just like a computer, then I guess. Um, yeah. So yeah, lots of different ways to set this up, lots of different ways to run with it. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas in mind what I'm going to try first because I just want to try a couple of simple ways. If it does what I need, which it should do, then yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Alright guys, I'll let you know how I get on with this soon. Check out my other videos, click subscribe. Um, the videos are usually a little bit more exciting than this. Um, so, speak to you all soon.